Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking once more about Log4j vulnerability. So CISA or the Cyber Security and Infrastructure Security Agency in accordance with some cyber security researchers have um, made their own scanner uh, for Log4j vulnerability. And they have that posted on GitHub which means it's open source and you can use it to um, be able to scan for the remote code execution vulnerabilities for the log4j. Uh, this scanner can detect CVE 2021-44228 and 45046. So I have the link of the GitHub repository um, listed below in the description. And you can always go there and click the link to open up this page so you can follow up this tutorial with me. Uh, if you notice here, they have two other um, software, but we're going to be focusing on the Log4j scanner. So once you click on that, we can see here that the scanner that they have is a Python script. And um, according to a news posted by Zenit, um, CISA was able to work with um, some a company called Full Hunt and got help from other uh, security researchers like Philip Claus and Moritz Bachelor. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing those names correctly, but if I'm not, I apologize in advance. Okay, so today we are going to be walking through how to get this on your Ubuntu or Linux machine. Uh, it can be a virtual machine or your laptop. Um, I haven't tested this on my MacBook yet, but um, since it's a Python script, I think it should be able to work on Mac. Um, uh, the requirements or what you need is um, you either need, you're going to need Python 3 and you're also going to need um, to be able to download this script on your Linux machine. So the first thing I'm going to do here is fire up my terminal. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a multi-pass virtual machine uh, that I have created on here. So I'm going to go into the shell of this virtual machine and we are going to go ahead and download this Python script onto our virtual machine using the git clone command. And then we will start from there. So now that I have my Ubuntu machine fired up, the first thing the first thing I want to do is go ahead and clone the repository. So I'm going to use the git clone command. So all you need to do is go on here onto GitHub. You click on the code, you're going to copy the link, and then you go back to your virtual machine. And we'll type the command git clone and we'll paste that. So once you do that, we see that um, the log4j scanner.git um, repository files have been downloaded. So we're going to do the command ls. And if you notice here, I have two different um, files. Uh, one of them is a different scanner that I'm going to make a different video about to be able to use to scan your for log4j vulnerabilities on a local machine. Okay, but today we're focusing on CISA's um, log4j remote scanner. So if we see here, um, the file name is log4j scanner. So we're going to do cd and we're going to cd into the log4j scanner so once we do that i'm going to do ls and we can see here that we have three files we have ldap dns and log 4j and log 4 scanner like we see here in the github um, repository okay so we're going to go back and we'll cd into log 4j or log 4 scanner okay and here we have 
everything we need. So if this is your first time using a Python script, you want to know that uh, most times these scripts come with requirements or um, other like um, software or applications that we may want to install that work with that Python script. Okay, and those are going to be mostly put in a file name called requirements.txt or txt. Okay, if we go back here, um, we go to the log4j scanner, we go to log4j, and then we go onto the readme file. We can get all the information on here about this script. Okay, it starts with a description of what the script does and it tells us how to use the script obviously you can use the dash h command to get help um, it also tells us um, it gives us an example of uh, how to use the script so you can use it to scan um, a single url by following this command um, so you put in python 3 log 4j scan.py which is the script's name as we see here Okay, that's the script's name and then you want to use the option dash u which if you look here in the help command it says the dash u is the requirement for the url so you're going to it's going to be followed by a url and if you want to use this to scan a single url using all the request methods that is get post Post JSON and all that stuff you want to use this command you still use the dash u option the URL and then run all tests okay if you want to discover uh, a web application firewall and bypass the environment you can use the option WAF bypass okay so we're going to jump into installation for you to be able to start using this script you want to install it by running the pip command so you're going to do pip3 install r and then we'll do the requirements.txt okay we're going to paste that in there and when we run that command it's going to install all the requirements that we need okay um, you can see here it installed pycryptodom temcolor and dns lib or python going to clean the terminal a little bit and we are going to run our first test okay so in order to do that we want to type um, the command so I'm going to start with the help command we're going to do Python 3 and we'll do log 4j scan dot pi and then dash H we can see here like we saw on the screenshot it gives us all the optional arguments that we can use okay so now I'm going to do a quick test so I'm going to run a basic test on our geek together website um, we don't use any Python code on there but I'm just going to run the test anyways just um, so you can see how the script works Okay, I'm going to put HTTPS. Okay, we're going to do geektogether.com. Then we'll do the run or test. Okay, before we continue, I'm going to just give a quick disclaimer. Um, note that if you're using this scanner, you want to use it to scan a website or um, a local machine that you're authorized to scan only. You shouldn't use this for any malicious purposes because we are not responsible or we will not be responsible if you use this tutorial or if you watch this video and use this software for malicious purposes. If you use this to commit any crime, any cyber crime, you are responsible for whatever you do and you only. So, um, and once again, I am not giving anyone permission to scan my website, so it, I'm just using this for this tutorial. So if you were following, you're going to have to um, find some website that you have the authority to scan, or you can 
um, build up a local host website real quick to be able to run the scans okay I'm gonna go ahead and run that test And this may take some time, so I'm going to pause the video here, and I will be back once the test is done. Uh, my bad. Um, the 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 first command we ran failed because I didn't have my website typed in correctly. So instead of um, just using the geektogether.com, I'm going to add www in front of it. Uh, geektogether.com. So if you were following this video and you had the same issue, you make sure you do the full um, URL, so HTTPS or HTTP, um, and then you do the con, the con slash slash www.geektogether.com or whichever website you're using, and we'll run the test. Like I said, this may take some time. So okay, we we'll see it was pretty quick. Uh, my website is not vulnerable to the any of the log 4j um, vulnerabilities so we did go ahead and check the website and send the payload to the url and it isn't vulnerable so this brings us to the end of this video um, i just thought i should share with you guys because i had some people send me an email um, telling me that uh, they could not install the Nessus scanner or um, if you don't want to install Nessus because that means you have to build up a whole new virtual machine maybe if you don't want to pay for Nessus and you don't want to use the free version because you don't have a, um, a way to install it or you don't know how to install it I'm um, using this Python script provided by CISA it's pretty effective it does the same thing that Nessus will do um, and I've seen some um, some reviews out there that say that uh, there's some scanners that do not um, check well for this vulnerability so this scanner is pretty effective uh, maybe in the future I'm going to try to build a vulnerable um, website and see if we can use this uh, this script to be able to scan and uh, see if it detects anything thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the like button if you like the video and also leave comments of any questions or concerns you may have in the comment section below have a nice day